Oh, looky here. One PlayStation 5. Seems to be all the rage. Uh, apparently this one doesn't turn on, so we have it uh, plugged in. Let's find out what happens when we hit the power button. Do we get a beep? Do we get a light? Or nothing? And nothing. Cool, this is my first dead PS5. Every other one I've done has just been an HDMI port, so this should be interesting. Right, let's see if this thing has been opened before. Oh, it's a bit dusty. Wow. That's uh, it's quite a, a dark coloured dust. That's un unusual. I wonder what that's about. We have our warranty sticker intact. So we're the first in, we have the best chance of getting this going. Let's have a look at our fan. I was expecting a lot worse than that. That's not too bad, a little bit dusty, but yeah, got a feeling it was pretty caked in. Just having a little bit of a smell. It's hard to know what sort of dust that is, but there's almost a bit of a scent to it. Maybe there's a combination of an oil burner going on in there. It makes me wonder, because look at... Uh, you can see a distinct line around here. And the way it's coloured looks like there's like a, a liquid had stuck to the plate and then the dust is set on top of that. It's almost got a bit of a, a shiny appearance to it. And if I give it a wipe, is that dry or sticky? Uh, maybe not. It does feel more dry than sticky, so you know, we'll see what the rest of it looks like. And lifting off the next cover, we get... Well, it's not too shabby at all, really. Well, I guess the first thing we should do is check that our power supply is working. Just plug that in. Get the screws out the way so I don't lose them. So our 12 volts comes in down bottom right, uh, and we will see if we have that as a good start. Oh, it's 9 volts. That is not a good start. So we know right away we likely have an issue with our main power supply. If I push the power button, yeah, it doesn't change, but no, not good. We shall continue disassembling. Curious whether it unplugs how quickly that drops off. My 3.3... I'm surprised it's going to 9. You would think it would give up trying to regulate if it couldn't meet 12 or it would fluctuate while it's trying to get there. That can't mean that we have an overload on, on our input here, otherwise that would drop off very fast like a, a low resistance on that so let's head for the power supply I guess there is quite the dry spot on that uh, on that processor there just in the top right you can see it's quite dull versus the rest of it uh, and that lines up with uh, quite the nasty spot on the other side just there on the end of the power module we have our uh, Wi-Fi antennas so don't forget to take them off because if you split this case open it's gonna bend all hell out of those looks like one clip at that end and they'll slide this way to come out of a retainer at this end well that was uh, a bit rough they don't want you getting into these there's a dark, yeah, if you can tell, it's a bit of a dark coloration uh, through that area there. Uh, indicative of more of that dark dust having accumulated. I need to go in a closer look down in here. 
I wonder if some of that dust has got conductive and arced a bit. Something funny going on just there. Let's pop it out of the shell. See what's going on the other side. Oh, hello. <laughs> what's going on there? I can see the remains of an insect across a high voltage section. That's not all. Uh, oh, insects can have nasty effects on things sometimes. It was a fly. Got kind of obliterated. Yeah, looking a bit dirty and under there. I'm not quite sure if it's um high voltage burn. But we'll go in for a closer look under the microscope, shall we? I have discharged our main capacitors. Well, I've made sure they were discharged. They are discharged to a safe low, low couple of volts. You see the way all that black looks like soot, but the way that black dust has gotten in there. I wonder if it's conductive. Should do a test on it. Can't be. Yeah, it's funny that it's black though. I've never seen black dust like that. Let's see if it has a resistance. I'm just going to probe a little bit of it. How about on top of there? Ooh. It does have resistance. It has mega ohms of resistance. That's not good. It shouldn't have any. Let's uh, scrape a bit together. That's a bit tricky. Yeah, I was getting a reading on that dust. So maybe bad. Maybe bad dust. You expect to see something going on and then down in there, like it's 300 odd volts down in there. On the back of those capacitors. It's all over our switching transistors. And down there where the fly was is where I wanted to have a look at. Let me get that on end. So that's where we saw the bug. And I wondered if something had gone on there because of that black blob at the base of that transistor. Actually, that's a diode package. Um, but no, it's just a bit of glue. It's just dirty, I think. I don't think there's anything going on there, although... Let's have a bit of a scrape at that. It's just very, uh, very dusty solder joint. It almost looks like there has been some high voltage burning there because it's not smooth. Like a solder joint would be. It almost looks like it's had some obliteration happening if you've ever seen exploded high voltage connections you can see how this is all nice and smooth this is a factory joint and then this is an odd shape and it's a bit rough looking I wonder if the wings of that bug got across it oh, the rest of it just does look dusty mm -hmm. going on in there they look all right. That's up under there. No. What about on our PCB? We're all the there's some more dust all over everything. It could be if it is partially conductive that it's just upsetting our IC there. It's our control IC for the switching supply. And if we're getting some erroneous feedback signals, perhaps, or we'll have to give this a thorough clean. They look all right. Here's our. Well, they may not be, they just look alright. Feedback optocouplers. And... Yeah. Well, let's clean the board up and then we'll plug it in, maybe do some measurements or we'll do some measurements first and then plug it in. Get a rough idea what could be going on in there. Giving it a, a good clean up, so I'll plug it in and we'll take a couple of measurements and just see what's going on. Uh, so we'll confirm that our 12 volt out is still 
Oh look, it's it's twelve volts. Ah. Well, it doesn't really make any sense, unless it was the fluff. Maybe it was the conductive fluff. But there didn't seem to be any overload on the main board. And I wouldn't have thought it would um, hold it at 9. It's almost like a feedback loop issue where it can maintain 9 volts rather than being pulled down. I would have thought that it would stop trying if it was pulled down below 12 by a certain amount. That's bizarre. Okay, well, maybe it was just the fluff. Okay, let's pop it back together. Maybe I try the main board on a bench supply and see how that behaves. Maybe I should have done that first. <laughs> no, it needed a clean, so it was good. So we have the power supply hooked up. And just going to set it at 1 amp. And we'll just see what it does. These things are supposed to come up and draw a few hundred milliamps when, when you first power on. And then they go to almost zero in standby. So if this is pulling down hard and causing that 9 volt, we'll see something. But I'll limit it to 1 amp, so hopefully no big deal. Turn it on. Oh, 300 milliamps, and back down. So that's a normal boot sequence. You can do that one more time to make sure it wasn't a fluke. There we go. So that further tells me that it was the power supply, and that a simple cleaning did it. Seems like awfully lucky to me. And the dust really does smell a lot like um, smoker. Quite a heavy smell to it, so... Oh, there's a bit on the main board too. We'll give that a clean up and perhaps throw it back together and see what happens. <laughs> We're set up here, ready to go and see what this does. Plug it in. And um, this will be interesting. Do we have a beep? Ah! <gasps> hey, what do you know? Do we have a picture? Ha! <laughs> ah! Well, you got to take the wins while you can, don't you? Well, I guess all we can do with this one is um, just to run it for a bit and just see what happens. I'll, I'll fully reassemble. I mean, if, <laughs> what more can you do? And there we have it. I've been gaming on it for about half an hour now, putting it through its paces, and it is happy as. Not getting too hot, not glitching, I think it's good to go. So there you go. Not every dead PS5 needs parts. Might just need a clean. Just be careful what you're smoking around your consoles. Maybe don't even smoke at all. If you like that, give it a thumbs up, and catch you all in the next one.